friends, welcome. This is this is me and all my realness. I'm actually going to do an oil treatment today. We're going to do it together. I'm in my robe. I'm actually in a sports bra too. I've already done a few things. It's nine o'clock. We're talking easy days. Um, I got up this morning. I did my check-in with my coach. I'll show you my picture. I actually dropped. Um, weighed in at a new low, which was good, but I didn't feel like I looked as lean as I could. So I'm going to show you what I looked like this morning. Can you guys see? Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm I'm more defined usually, but I'm also not self-tanned. So that could be it. I mean, I guess you could see like some ab definition there. I was really impressed. So, I don't know if you could see it, but I'm definitely seeing more definition in my legs. So that was cool. Um, hold on, let me text my dad. Um, tomorrow's my sister's party, so we got a lot going on. But, okay, so what's on the agenda for today? We already did our fast at cardio. Becky is home today because, look, I'm going to tell you guys this, and this is my parenting. You guys don't have to do this, but growing up, there was one thing my mom did, and she always gave us, like, mental health days. And just some days where you aren't sick, but you're just need a day. And today, Becky, Becky has not missed any days of school, and she's like, you know, all of her friends are not going to be there today because they're off the whole week next week. And she said, you know, can I stay home? And I was like, do you have a test or anything going on? She said, no. And I said, okay. So she's having having a sleep in and chilling. So she's going to hang out. It's going to be a mommy and me day. My sister's going to come by later. Um, we're going to clean up the basement today to get ready for the party tomorrow. Pretty much everything is done. I just got to clean up and I'm doing some laundry as well. So you guys know I had the flu. It was bad. Really, really bad. And every time that I would ever get sick, I would always get a new toothbrush, right? Because, you know, you get the virus, you know? Also, the thing is, too, aside from gut health being super, super important, I think they say, like, your gut health is 80% of your immunity. Also, like, your teeth. Teeth health for me growing up was always very very big my mother came from a generation and with a family who didn't really um they didn't go to the dentist unless their teeth hurt you know um so when i was a kid my mom always had us in the dentist every two weeks or every or twice a year every six months and it would always be um she would always say be true to your teeth and they'll never be false to you and yeah so i had a lot of dental issues growing up i was a tetracycline baby so i had a, my teeth were always really soft and they were just, they had a lot of issues. Um, I did get veneers put on my forefront um, about three years ago, and I have zero regrets. But I wanted to talk to you guys about my new toothbrush. This is from Cheese. Cheese. And it's an electric toothbrush, and I absolutely love electric toothbrushes. I had got one recently. Um, I had electric toothbrush for years, and then the, it wouldn't stay charged. And it was like super annoying to me that I could never keep it charged. And I always hated it being like on the counter with the charge and everything like that. So um, when they sent this one over and they gave me like a discount and everything for you guys, I'm going to leave a link. I was really excited. I got mine in pink because you already know it comes with three replacement heads. So with the cheese toothbrush, I'm going to take it out of the box. You get 300 days um, of of charge when you charge the toothbrush which is great because like I said mine towards the end it wouldn't even stay charged the whole time I was using it so um, and you it also comes with three uh, replacement brush heads that are designed to meet different oral care needs what I really like about the electric toothbrushes is it mimics the one that in the like the hygienists use I always get my clean my teeth clean by a hygienist that's like my favorite way to do it because I feel like hygienists are way more thorough than like a dentist it may just be me but <clears throat> Yeah, uh, the reason why is because not only with the it, it vibrates and it helps remove some of the plaque from the gums because you, you want to make sure you get the, the plaque from the gums because that's where the sugar, bite, the sugar bites are, sugar bugs, and you get the cavities. So anyways, it says it has um, dew point bristles, three cleaning molds, full body washing, um, 30 second uh, smart pulse mode and a two minute smart timer and a long lasting battery. I actually want to get these for all the kids as well because sometimes I feel like they brush their teeth too quickly and with the timer on there you're able to make sure that you're brushing your teeth for the um, uh, important amount of time. And then it has the pulse modes so when you could switch quadrants as well. So let's show you what it looks like here. And what I love too is this is great for traveling. So it comes with 
with the replacement brush heads guys make sure you keep these little plastic caps on your brush head on your toothbrush heads especially because you, you know you keep your, your toothbrush in the bathroom and I like to keep my brush head covered because you know the bathroom is not the cleanest place in the world and you want to make sure that you keep it nice and clean and covered right so really nice has the nice toothbrush bristles so I like how that is and then and it's super look at that one look at that that is sharp and these are way more affordable than certain other brands you might be seeing if you join the cheese care program you get two free brush heads for the cheese members and then this is <clears throat> You just use a charging cube for it and then you could just store it this way so what i do like is so how you would store it let me show you if you guys are getting ready to travel this summer or i'm sorry this holiday and you could bring these your toothbrush with you because you know how sometimes if you go away you take a different toothbrush like you'll take a cheaper one and because you don't you can't travel with your electronic one like your good toothbrush everything is right here so you can have your toothbrush with you important because i know i remember when i went to florida i didn't take my electric toothbrush and i used like another one and i could totally tell the difference like your teeth feel cleaner when you're using one of these electric toothbrushes and i swear to you i am not lying check it out i'll leave a link and a discount code down below i think you guys will absolutely love this and again super sleek and i like that they come with all these different brush heads and the packaging is really nice too i like i said i picked the pink color but you guys could pick whatever color you want and then i have i picked this one this brush head this one's soft which is nice and then and it's super quiet too and then I would just probably what I would probably do to be honest with you is I would probably just remove my brush head every day to keep they actually sell like clip covers too to go on the toothbrush head that's what we have but I would probably just remove the brush head and do this you know what I'm probably going to do since I have the four brush heads right here I'm just going to write everybody's name on one and then we can all just use this toothbrush so that's also a good way to do things and then you just keep their brush heads separate and just put everybody's initial on one so everybody knows who's their suits okay anyways be true to your teeth and they'll never be false to you uh, my mom's been calling me so let me see what she wants and then we're gonna go and make one of these muffins so cute um, I'm gonna throw one of these muffins in the microwave I told you guys about these the other day and I eat these before I work out. They're really, I wish they were bigger because they are so good. But these are the veggies made grape banana chocolate chip muffins. Absolutely delicious. One muffin is 120 calories, three fat, 21 carbs, um, and three protein. And they're made with zucchini, egg whites, um, sugar, whole eggs, rolled oats, semi-sweet chocolate chips, bananas, like brown rice flour, coarse starch, soluble corn fiber. So um, I like it because we're getting some carbs, but we're also getting some like good micronutrients with like the veg too. And they taste good. So I'm going to heat this up in the microwave for 30 seconds and I'll show you. Let me call my mom. All right, so here is that muffin. You guys could see like, there is like, you could see a little bit of the green from the zucchini, but it's really good and they have the chocolate chips in it. So good. So anyways, I'm going to eat this. I'm going to put up some laundry. And then we'll work out. So today is going to be a shoulder day. Ugh. So I'm going to get my weights out here. But yeah, so, oh my gosh. So yesterday was quads. Also, this is, this is what I'm, these are pajama sweatpants and I've had them for a long time as you can see but they're so comfortable but they're really really big on me but anyways um yesterday I trained quads and it was such a crazy intense workout I don't know if it's because I like really maxed out weights or what I did but holy hell like 
my body, my legs were trembling. They were trembling. Like I could, I felt like they were just gonna, like I had to like crawl. It was crazy. So I'm very sore today. But I want to get this done because I'll have my sisters coming and I want to start cleaning the basement today and then I'll show you guys kind of what the basement looks like. Also, I finally ordered my new computer. Excited for that. Um, it has taken me a long, first off, it's taken me a long time to even consider the fact of getting a desktop computer. Um, and I wanted, I wanted a iMac one. And I knew, I knew I wanted that because I knew it was what I needed. Um, so I knew I wanted um, one of those because it, you know, will go with all my devices. Like so I have a, a, lab, a laptop and everything too from them. But the pricing was crazy. But I also knew that I wanted to um, get Final Cut Pro just to be better at editing. And I knew I wanted to pay cash for it. I'm very much a cash only type of person. Now I'm not saying we were always like that when me and Leo first got married. I'm not saying we didn't, you know, like to charge stuff because we did. Um, but in the last like five years, we got rid of all. Like we still have credit cards just for like an emergency, but we have like nothing on them, and I like that. So we are car payment free, um, credit card payment free. And before everything happened with the interest rate, we were able to actually refinance our house and we took our, our, um, our interest rate down to a two. So we're doing really good and we're almost under like a hundred of what we owe on the house, which is pretty amazing. So what my point is, is I finally saved the money and I paid for it. So I was excited for that. And then I actually have a little bit more money saved that I was gonna save to get my tummy tuck, but I'm actually gonna take that money and I'm going to invest it. Um, I wanna talk about it. Maybe I'll bring it up during Vlogmas, not too sure, but I have a business venture coming and I'm very, very excited. And that's another thing that's gonna be cash only. So anyways, we're gonna do shoulders and my battery's gonna die on this camera. Hello, my friends, we're back. I did my workout. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, ever since I was sick last week, this week I have struggled, like just with motivation, with endurance, like I'm tired, I'm, I'm very tired. I'm very, hu I'm very hungry this week, where like I am like ravenous. I don't know if it's because like my cycle's about to start next week. And then like last week, since I was so sick, because I had a flu A, so it was like everything. It was like upper respiratory and it was like stomach. It was everything. It was really, really bad. And I didn't eat anything for like five days. Um, I actually was able to rebound my weight and I ended up only like gaining back like a half a pound or something like that which is I mean I didn't even want to lose weight like that that's just awful like I just like I said it was it was really bad so I don't know I think I need like a refeed day um I usually do like a like a my like carve up me like my cheat meal on Fridays which today is Friday but since um I'm gonna have my sister's party tomorrow I decided to hold off until tomorrow so I can eat at the party everybody else and I kind of feel like I might even need like one more extra day I checked in with my coach she's at work you know my coach has a job so um, I'm waiting to hear back from her and hear what her uh so I don't want to show Leo's trolleys on the internet um you see what she has to say because like my legs have been shaken like during it, it's been rough it's been rough I got like my unmentionables unfolding up here but yeah I'm like hungry so I'm just gonna fold up these clothes I just put them out of the dryer so they're still warm that's why I want to fold them real quick and then we'll eat but today I did shoulders and I was gonna record it but I'm gonna be honest with you guys like I didn't want to do it making my breakfast but I want to show you I just I got to take out this garbage don't look at that I also got a new garbage can for the party but I'm gonna put it out tomorrow um my dad's coming so I also never vlog when my dad's here because my dad is so loud he never I'm like dad I'm I'm, uh, I'm recording 
And my dad, he was a heavy machinery, uh, heavy machinery mechanic and like a diesel mechanic for many, many years. So he has tinnitus real bad, so he's a little hard of hearing. Um, and I just also think he's at that part of his life where he just don't give a shit if he says whatever. So anyways, he's coming over because he's going to help me in the basement. I don't really need help. But I ordered this off of, I was on TikTok, and I don't know if you ever watched, like, it's called, like, Ben and Rose, I think. She does a lot of, like, makeup reviews, and I've been following her for years and years and years. And she reviewed this, and I've been loving, like, cream makeup products for a while now. And these were only $5. They're from a brand called She Glam. That's the name of them, She Glam. It did take, like, a while for it to ship. Like I think I ordered it two weeks ago, so that's like not the worst. But I got a liquid highlighter, a liquid blush, and two, like a bronzer and a contour. And I wanted to show you guys. Because they were $4.99 each, which is really, really good. Because you can't even get out for $4.99 anymore. Like their prices have all went up. And she was like really praising them. And she didn't even have a discount code with them. So I think it was, it was legit just her own opinion. You know, sometimes you, they get paid for stuff and you're like, oh, the packaging is nice. Look at the packaging. Very nice. Very sleek. Like a hard. It's very nice. Oh, that's like interesting. So let's see. Oh, super pigmented too. Like it. blends out very nicely so this would be the bronzer again very very nice packaging like that for five dollars can't beat that oh this comes with like a this kind of applicator and then let's see can we see very pretty oh look at that okay So a little bit will go a long way, but I really wanted a deep, like pretty color for the cooler months. Love that. And then you could see that the contour is very cool, almost like a gray, but you want it. And you're just going to only want to put a little bit so you can get that shadow, right? Just a little bit. So if you wanted to contour, right? So bronzer, you're going to think three e right so you're going to want to do it on all these places in the face that's going to warm it up i even bring a little bit onto my nose now if i was going to contour i would take it top part of my ear that's generally where your cheekbone is and i would just bring it in right here i wouldn't go past the outer corner of my eye and just keep it right there and blend up do not blend down and that will give you a nice shadow and give you a beautiful natural contour and really structure the face. So the bronzer is called Golden Sun. The contour is called Soft Tan. The highlight is Vanilla Frost and the blush is Swipe Right. So I gotta clean up my mess now, but I also have my breakfast, 200 grams of potato, two pieces of turkey bacon, two eggs, and I'm gonna take two ounces of avocado. I'm gonna eat, and then my dad will be here. All right, so I wanna give you guys a little sneak peek here. So the, the color scheme we were going with is like purple, silver, and gold. And yeah, so I have all these little things. I have to rehang some of them, because some of them fell. And then I got her the big three and O numbers so I'm gonna put those like right here so you guys she can like take pictures and stuff like that um with everybody I do have to go through and like vacuum up right here which like all the stairs and then I'm gonna vacuum and mop the floors and I mean it's not too bad instead of doing like a huge cooler we're just gonna do the like put stuff in the fridge because we have it right here, you know, so it'll be easier. Because look, I'm not going to lie to you guys. If we were to put everything in a cooler, Leo's really bad about putting that stuff back. And I don't want that to be sitting down here. Because Sunday, we'll be putting up the Christmas tree down here. So we're going to have seating. We're expecting probably about 30 people-ish. Um, some people cancel because, you know, a lot of people are getting sick right now. So some people are not going to be able to make it. Um, but I still think 30 is going to be a really good... 
um, number. So we're going to have, we have seating here, obviously seating right here, seating at the bar, and then I'm going to bring up a table from the garage and put some chairs and they'll put a chair right or a table right here so people can sit and then I have the, the table and living room seating as well so I think it'll be more than enough I'm not going to put out a ton of tables and chairs and stuff because let's be honest people really don't use them and then I hate having to break them up so this is kind of like the space is I'm you know if I leave my weights and stuff I'm not putting all that away but I'm going to wipe down the bar my mom um went and got some plates and stuff so we got plates fork spoons and then my mom's making hors d'oeuvres and she dropped those off so i'm gonna put that up i got paper or plastic cups for mixed drinks pistachios i got the potato chips from costco so let me show you guys the office so i got rid of i didn't get rid of it i just gave the l-shaped desk to sophia and this is just going to be my work setup from now on this is just going to be my working desk and then i put my mirror right here and then my clothing rack you guys are going to be seeing this i'm so upset i just want to give you guys a quick hold on i'll show you guys this skirt and i'm going to do a video for like thanksgiving um and cyber monday but this skirt came in isn't it the cutest thing it's actually a squirt you guys see it has like and it's tweed and it has like kind of glittery it's nice and thick it's seriously so pretty I absolutely loved it and I thought like with a black turtleneck and some black tights this I got it in a large guys this is like a small it is so tiny I don't even think if I got an extra large it would fit I probably would have to do like a 2x because it's so tiny like oh, but it's so cute I wish it fit but yeah I don't know look at this though I want to show you guys this you guys will see this in an upcoming video but Look at it, and it has like the peekaboo right here. Isn't that so cute? And then I have this one as well, and it kind of goes off the shoulder with like the matching brown boots. Oh. So these balloons were $6.99 from Amazon, and honestly, I should have just got the one from the Dollar Tree because this like one-way valve that they have is not good and I feel like this one's deflated a little bit so anyways I wanted to put them right here and I feel like I got the three in the O and I'm looking like I think I have like fish hook or fish wire and I can hang them right here I think that'll be cute so I'm gonna look for that and then I hung up the rest of these little like flat things. I'm gonna vacuum, wipe down everything, and then we're just gonna mop and clean the bathroom. 30, flirty, and thriving. So cute, right? And then I got her these. These are the sparkle candles. And then I got her a sash. So I'm gonna keep one of these just in case I come down tomorrow and it's all out of air. I'm doing the Bona Bees from Costco. So they're $20 for a five pound tub i don't think that's bad because i feel like if you get it from anywhere else it's super expensive for some reason they like upcharge uh italian beefs so we're gonna do 15 pounds of italian beef and i'm getting the little breads from costco and then we're gonna do i ordered 100 pieces of chicken and then i got a big like full-size tray of baked spaghetti my mom's bringing a pasta salad and she's making hors d'oeuvres and then i got a sheet cake from costco I feel like that should be enough and then we got like you know food and drink and stuff like that so and then we got like chips and snacks so i feel like i never want to run out of food and i never want to run out of something to drink so i hate especially food like i hate when people think that they can't go back for seconds especially if they're drinking i don't drink it's just not my thing but if you're going to be drinking i really want to make sure that you're eating as well you know because that's dangerous so I always make sure I have extra food and the worst comes to worst I could send people with like to goes and they'll be all good you know what I mean I rather and they can eat at home and you know they get home or whatever so anyways let me show you I hung up these balloons let me show you see what you guys think I'm gonna clean the bathroom I'm also gonna send Rhea a threatening text message because she's the only one who really uses the downstairs bathroom like we'll use it if like the other ones up like someone's in there but 
like the sink and everything it's it's a mess like this is not your personal bathroom to tear up like i'm gonna be real with you okay i know people will be like boys are slobs girls girls are slobs hands down okay anyways let me show you so i hung the balloons like that and then i figure you know you could be i'm gonna put the garbage can over there too um like probably off to the side maybe i'll probably put it right here but nonetheless so she could take pictures with people and stuff and then right here will be the table and then these are the tablecloths i got these are like a kind of holographic i thought these were really nice i ordered these off of amazon expensive but they're cool um then we have the balloons over there so they can sit there we'll have a seating here the bar and then i think that looks pretty good it's pretty good pretty good i'm gonna mop the floors i brought down my fabuloso i usually do like the swifter swifter wet what mop or whatever but i really want to make sure i get a good mopping done and then i'm gonna do the stairs and i think we'll be good and then leo will he does all like figuring out like the drink thing and what goes in the fridge and all this other stuff that's like his that's his stuff i don't get into all that but i just want to make sure that the cleaning part's done i ended up washing the valance in my kitchen the curtains in my bedroom um yeah I just washed all of them so they're really nice and fresh and i use the oxyclean and then i hang them while they're still wet so then they'll like air dry and it smells really really fresh um i did our linens tuesday wednesday thursday so those are all fresh and clean because i don't want to overdo my washing machine either and like break it so that did take some time so i ended up doing like a room a day so linens are all clean so everything smells nice and fresh and ready to go and pretty much laundry is done i just vacuumed the floors i'm gonna go clean the bathroom to scrub out the toilet i know that people share that but i think wash wash i don't want anybody to see me scrubbing a toilet it's gross you know but also that's probably why i'm not like a clean with me mom all right but anyways um yeah checking in we're getting there we're almost done yeah i'm pretty excited she's really excited my sister she's really really excited so and her boyfriend's like so sweet he keeps calling to see if he needs any if he needs us to help but we got it under control looking pretty good and we are all finished everything is clean i will say i ordered these number balloons off of amazon and i feel like this valve is not holding that makes me really annoyed because they were not cheap but i vacuumed the stairs and like i vacuumed all that so i think we're good what do you guys think it smells nice down here so what are you doing down here my guy and then i gotta show you the bathroom the bathroom's nice and clean too i am exhausted my legs are so sore from the gym yesterday oh i need a nap but i cleaned look at these scooby towels hold on i wish when we i wish we would have put this in a better spot Here's a fun fact. You guys know how we hire, oh geez, hire the electrician and we went to put the sconces up on the walls and the power doesn't work. <laughs> so now we have to get an electrician out here to do that, but it, it is what it is. But look at these Scoopy or Snoopy towels. Leo loves Snoopy, so I try to do a lot of Snoopy stuff for the basement for him. Put air freshener in so it doesn't stink. Scrubbed out this sink. I know you guys did tell me and I agree that they said if you get the matte black that you will see like the soap scum and i do agree that does happen but it still looks super sleek bathroom is nice and cleaned up for everyone i had to clean the tire marks off the door from my dad put the door in but this was supposed to be done the shower stall but the flu happened and it's fine i mean hopefully people don't judge you don't think they'll judge right they shouldn't judge i mean we were sick it's clean it smells nice but everything is good. I even like cleaned the office too and I mopped. So it's nice and fresh smelling down here. Laundry is all done. We are ready for the party. My sister actually just left right now and we are looking good. So I'm going to wrap up this video because I want to go take a nice hot shower and I'm going to soak in some Epsom salt because my legs guys are so sore. Like I feel like my thighs, like I cannot like do anything. If you, you know post leg day and it is sore so i'm gonna take a shower and relax i actually have to go with the girls and i might actually just go tomorrow in the morning because we're gonna get waxed up so 
Rhea will not be here tomorrow because she has speech in the morning, so she won't be home until 7. So it'll just be me, Becky, and Sophie. But we'll go get the stuff done. Leo's on his way home right now. He's going to bring down the table, and then we'll just put the table down. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys should see all the, the pictures and stuff. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys had a good time. I'll leave a link for the toothbrushes down below so you want to check them out really nice and like i said you could keep the heads and just put each family member's name on it you're welcome but all right i'll see you on the next one thanks for vlogging it out with me it's oh my gosh it's snowing let me show you 17 degrees right now and it's like blustery and cold and oh it is the pits so i will see you on the next one hopefully this party turns out okay and she has the best time ever. And if Ree, if you watch this, I love you so much, kid. And happy dirty, thir dirty, 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 flirty, and thriving. All right, I'm <laughs> these stairs. I'll see y'all later. Bye.